Hello and welcome to a My Mini Maths video tutorial. Today we're going to be calculating multiples of 10% of an amount or quantity. This video can also be used in, for help and support with the uh, arithmetic target question 32. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is if I take any amount or an object, whatever it may be, all of it is 100%. And if I break that down into 10 equal parts, each part is worth 10%. Okay, and just a reminder, 10% is the same as saying 1 out of 10, 1 tenth, and 1 tenth as a decimal. They're all three different ways of writing the same thing. So let's move the diagram to the bottom and we'll run through some examples. So the first one, 10% of 70. Okay, so if the 100%, all of it, is... 70 then if i divide that up into 10 equal parts each part is worth seven and we only need 10 percent so it's just going to be this one here so we have an answer of seven now if we wanted to work out 20 percent and don't forget multiplying and of are the same thing Okay, so we've got 20% of 70. Again, we would break it down into 10 equal parts, so each 10% is worth 7. Okay, and then this time we'd actually need two of them to make the 20% like so. So therefore, the answer would be 7 add 7, which would be 14. Then if we look at 30% of 70, we know that's going to take up three parts and 70 divided into 10 parts was seven. So therefore, three lots of seven would equal 21. So the key is to break it down into 10% first in 10% blocks and then build those 10% together to build, to make whichever percentage you, you need or whichever one you require. Okay, let's look at a couple more examples. So 40% of 200 and 60. So the first thing we need is we will need four lots of 10% for the 40%, okay, which is this part covered. Then 260 divided by 10, one space smaller, gives us 26 for each of these 10%. So all together, that's going to give us a grand total of 104. And so if you want to do 50%, you just add on another 10%, 60%, 70%, 80, 90. And then of course, the full 100% would be the full value, which in this case would be 260. And one more idea to go through. So 90% of 8,000. Okay, sometimes we can work out the 10%, that's fine, which would be 800 and have nine of those. Or if we can work out the 10%, here, which would be 800, and then subtract that from the full 100%, and that would leave us with 90%. Okay, so 8,000 minus the 800 gives us 7,200. So we can sometimes work backwards as well. Okay. Okay, please feel free to subscribe to the My Mini Maths video tutorial YouTube channel and it'll give you all the latest updates news and videos and i look forward to speaking to you again soon take care